Welcome back, folks. Today we're diving into a hot topic: colds and antibiotics. Buckle up, because we're going to uncover when you really need those magic pills and why popping them unnecessarily might not be the best idea. All right, let's get into it. Did you know that a whopping 82% of cold symptoms are caused by viruses? That's right. Most colds are viral villains. Back in the day, we thought we could play Sherlock Holmes and distinguish between bacteria and viral infections by the color of your sputum. But guess what? That green or yellow mucus—it's not a sign of bacterial invasion. It's just a party trick from peroxidase showing up to the scene of all infections. But wait, there's more. Treating viral infections with antibiotics—it's like trying to use a hair dryer underwater. It just doesn't work. Not only can it lead to a rash, like a surprise guest appearance from mono when it's not invited to a party, it can also wreak havoc to your gut bacteria. So say hello to diarrhea and pesky yeast infections when you use antibiotics unnecessarily. Now let's talk about when antibiotics are the real MVPs. Meet Tracy. Tracy has been having a lot of sinus pain and pressure for about 10 days since her symptoms started. She's starting to be very congested, and that pain is starting to spread to her head, and she's starting to have a headache. Now meet Daniel. Daniel has been having very bad sore throat for the past three days. It is red as a tomato. He had huge tonsils that is swollen, and it's got these white streaks on it, looking all gross. He had a fever up to 101. He's not coughing, and he's got a big lump under his neck that he's not sure what it is, and it's kind of tender to touch. Now, of these two people, who needs antibiotics? The answer is both of them. Tracy most likely has sinusitis from all the mucus buildup in her sinuses. Bacteria are starting to grow, and antibiotics is the best treatment for that. Now, Daniel probably has strep throat. Following the center criteria, which is a criteria we often use for clinical diagnosis of strep throat, which has four components. If your throat is super red with exudates on the tonsils, so these pesky white streaks. If you don't have a cough, you've got high fevers, or lymph node enlargements in your anterior neck. You're meeting a lot of the criteria for a strep throat, which can be confirmed with other tests. Strep throat should be managed with antibiotics to prevent the rare but severe side effects such as rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart disease, or kidney inflammation. So next time you're feeling under the weather and wanting to see a doctor. Remember, if you have these features where a sinus is hurting for more than ten days, you've got this massive sore throat with swollen tonsils and exudates, lymph node enlargement, high fever, no cough, or if you've got asthma history, you're wheezing like crazy, you're struggling to breathe, you probably need some antibiotics. Otherwise, stay away, drink lots of water, and protect those important gut bacteria of yours.